In this lecture, we will take a look at what is add a shift function. We will understand how to use this function in PHP program. So the add a shift function removes the first element from an array and returns the value of the removed element. The syntax of this function is super easy. It starts with the add a shift name and then in the parentheses, you need to specify the array from which you want to remove the first element. Let me show you a very simple example to understand how this function works. So for example, let's say you have here an array stack and you have some values inside this array. Now, if you want to remove this first value from this array, you can use this array shift function. For example, you'll start with the array shift function and specify that array in the parentheses. When you specify this array in the parentheses, it's going to remove this first value. And then it's returned this first value to this variable. And when you try to print this variable, it's going to return the result something like this. You have your values from the second index. This function is going to remove the first element of the array from this array variable. Now keep in mind, this function is going to change your original array. So be careful while using this function. Now what if, if I try to print this variable? If I just print this variable, it's going to return 1. So it's going to return the shift value or you can say it's going to return the shift element from an array to this variable. Now keep in mind, if this array is numeric, all the elements will get new keys starting from 0 and increase by 1. You can notice here, this array is numeric. So it starts with the zero index, then this is the first index, and this is the second, and so on. So this function is going to remove your first element and start your array from here. It's going to change the first index to zero. So this function is going to start from zero and increase the index by one. The use of this array is to remove the first element from the array. Now, what if you have associative array? Let me just create here associative array and show you a very simple example. So for example, let's say you have here associative array and in this array you have some values. Now what I want, I want to remove this first key and value pair from this array. So I'm going to simply first print this array. So this is going to return this array values. And now I want to remove this first key and pair value. I'm going to simply call here print statement and inside it, I'm going to call array shift function. And to the parameter of this function, I'm going to pass this array. When I try to print this statement, it's going to return apple. And then if I try to print this array variable, it's going to return the array from the second key right from here. So it's going to remove the first key and pair value and return the rest of the array to this array variable. Now this is very simple, right? But what if you're stuck in the situation where you want to remove zero from the array? For example, let's say you have here an array stack and you initialize it with an array variable. And in this array, you have different numerical values. Now you want to remove this zero from this array. How do you do that? The very simple way to do this is to use conjunction with array short function. Let me show you. I'm going to just call short function. So this function is going to short this array and change this array completely. We learn how this function work in the previous lecture. Now, if I just print this array, it's going to return this result. So once you short your array, you know that you have a zero on the first index. So you can use here array shift function to remove this first element. So I'm going to call here array shift and pass this array as a parameter of this function. When I try to print this statement, it's going to return the result what I want. So I hope you understand how to use array shift function in PHP. If you like short videos like this, make sure to subscribe and like this video. I will see you in the next one.